What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Click on their ad on our website to enter your team in a chance to win a free banquet. Guess what day it is? Hump day at Blair Field for more league baseball, the classic matchup. Lakewood trying to get back into the league title hunt by knocking off first place Wilson. Two quality arms on the Blair bump. Wilson ace Zach Petway gets the call and Lakewood goes with lefty Brian Sandoval who gets some run support early. Second inning, two singles and a sack bunt sets the table for catcher Ricky Kaufman to go back up the box with two outs and the Ryans come around to score. Rudell and Angerman are going to make it 2-0 Lakewood here in the second inning. Kaufman Hoffman would reach base three times. Meanwhile, Wilson put a runner on third base in each of the first two innings, but Sandoval gets by with a little help from his friends, like in the second, David Rivera comes a-charging and firing. Kaufman there for the tag and the hold on for the out. A great play there from the senior shortstop and the catcher teaming up. Both pitchers got dialed in after that, gave up a combined hit over the next two innings, putting them down. Hitters got some good contact, but more often than not, they got a guy there. Until a very strange top of the fifth inning. First, Petway hits David Barch with two strikes on him. Then Kaufman is going to come up and lay down the sacrifice bunt. Petway going to go the easy way for the first out, but first baseman Nick Morris rolls his leg up on the bag and can't squeeze it. The runner advances. Morris has to leave the game. After a catcher's interference loads the bases with one out, the infield is in, and Buck Anderson still finds a way to push the bunt out there for an RBI. Like a camel through the eye of a needle. Lakewood is going to go up 3-0. Wilson would make some noise late. They put a leadoff runner on base in the next two innings and put a runner on in the seventh, but again the Lancer defense picks up Sandy. Big man goes the distance, scatters six hits with three strikeouts, no walks, and gave up one earned run in the seventh as Lakewood holds on to win 3-1. That moves Milliken to the top of the Moore League standings with Lakewood and Wilson tied for second and Polly in fourth. Another big Moore League doubleheader at Blair Field coming up on Monday. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors including Papalucci's, a great place to eat on 2nd Street. You want all the local sports coverage, you stay right here.